Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Taylors of Harrogate Espresso Ground Coffee and on the front of the pack it says the definitive dark roast, it's a number 5 ro roast or strength, um, it doesn't say on the pack and this coffee actually, this coffee was £1.50 um, I went to Asda and they had a bit of a flash sale on Taylors of Harrogate coffees. Normally they retail for about £3.50 but um, like I say they, they were doing a few of the Taylors of Harrogate for £1.50 so I grabbed a few bags. This was one of them and just before I get on to um, anything else um, I have actually already reviewed the, um, the coffee beans um, the same version, it's the same pack, it's got the same description on the pack um, but I just thought I'd um, give the the ground coffee a try I haven't looked back at my review of the beans so I can't remember what I said about them but I think um, I was a little disappointed in the flavour of the beans um, it wasn't quite an espresso um, coffee from what I remember um, from doing that review so if you look at the pack, on the back it says We first made coffee in 1886, this rich, deep, finely tuned espresso stands on the shoulders of over a, over a century of craft. Exceptional beans from Africa, Indonesia and Latin America burst with complex flavours of citrus fruit, nuts and chocolate, creating a full body blend with impeccable balance. It's our definitive dark roast. And there we go, ground for espresso machines, the perfect espresso. And then it says the fine grind size of this coffee is designed for espresso machines. If you're using a cafetiere or filter, try our rich seductive after dark blend instead. I have actually um, reviewed that, that was one of my first reviews that I did um, on, on YouTube. For the per perfect espresso, please follow your coffee machine manufacturer instructions. And um, as I say, this was £1.50 for 227 grams. Um, it was on sale. And I was actually thinking they must be close to the best before date on the packs. Um, they must have a short um, shelf life or they must be close to being out of date. But when I've looked on the back of the packs, they're all, they've all got well over a year um, to go on the best before date. So I don't quite understand why, for some reason, they were selling them for less than half price, um, these coffees. Roasted and packed in the UK by Taylors of Harrogate. And on the side of the pack, it's got storage instructions. The ingredients are 100% Arabica coffee. And there's Taylors of Harrogate's um, web address there. On the other side, it says, All our coffees come from independently certified farms and cooperatives. We rely on these growers, so we work extremely hard to build long-lasting relationships with them, investing in their communities and their environments to help ensure both a thriving and resilient over the years we've planted 3 million trees and we're aiming to help protect 1.5 million hectares of tropical forest. Find out more at yorkshirerainforestproject.co.uk There we go and that's, that's basically all it says on the pack. Um, the ground coffee, very finely ground this, as you can see it sort of clumps together in balls a little bit which um, is a sign of a uh, espresso grind um, the smell is quite smoky sort of dark chocolate it's really meaty strong smelling coffee this one um, I don't literally mean meaty I mean sort of descriptive meaty um, slight bitterness typical of a dark roasted coffee this one no oil, not really much of an oily smell, um, which I'd expect though from a espresso coffee. The taste is quite sweet at first, then the bitterness sort of comes next. It's a typical espresso dark roasted coffee taste though, and as it says on the pack, 
very slight hint of fruit, chocolate and nutty notes um, to this one. Um, as I say, I've already reviewed um, the coffee beans before and I think I was quite unimpressed by the beans. But the ground coffee seems perfectly okay to me. Um, nothing to write home about, but I quite like um, this coffee. It does clog up my machine a bit which is a bit of a pain, but it's a nice espresso coffee, if a little uninteresting. But as I say, because it was on sale, I got two bags of this one um, for three pounds. So I'll happily drink this um, for a while anyway. As I say, I've already reviewed the beans, so I'll try and put a link into that review if anyone's interested. Um, so yeah, I have, already i think i would definitely buy this coffee again as i say i've tried the bean form i've seen this on sale so it's definitely definitely a coffee i like um and i'd like to hear from anyone else who's um, tried this coffee and has any opinions on it if you'd like to leave your comments in the section below um if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future subscribe to my channel that was my quick review. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.